the art and the must-have attitude for successful negotiations with car dealers. Man, you have got to have some attitude. Maybe you've heard my opening statement in different words before, like in the famous book titled Art of the Deal. Well, for some of you, just a recollection of who that author was might, might have made your minds just go poof. Multiple times we've talked about negotiating with car dealers and how using OTD techniques are the key to getting a good deal. However, the art of the negotiation or the art of the deal is actually more than just an OTD pricing focus. It is also an attitude that you must have to win in these negotiations. On this show, my co-host, Amazing Elizabeth, wins negotiations consistently, not just because of what she knows, but also because of her attitude towards negotiations and more specifically, her attitude towards winning. I say attitude because something every great negotiator, including the Amazing Elizabeth, brings to the table is an attitude and approach to win by gaining the upper hand. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy. Elizabeth, your thoughts. To illustrate this point, 30 years ago, an interview took place on the then popular show Larry King Live, and a video has recently resurfaced on YouTube showing Larry King being told he had bad breath on live television. It was actually quite funny. And Very Don- funny. And Donald Trump was the one who said it. A little backstory is that Larry had asked Trump how he gained the upper hand in negotiations, and Trump responded by asking, you want to act it out? When King nodded, Trump then went into making the bad breath statement, which sounded a bit rude, but clearly set Larry back in his chair and destroyed his confidence speaking with Trump. That's just a small sample of the attitude I am talking about. From that point on, Trump was in charge of the conversation as Larry wondered how much his breath really did stink. (laughs) Did he dare speak directly to his guest? It takes an attitude to win in car negotiations with car dealers, something our car coaches bring to the table in our hassle-free car buying service. It's all presented in the art of the deal, and it's a big contributor to their winning ways. So, Liz, I'm kind of curious. Have you ever used the bad breath line on a car dealer? <laughs> I ask because I know you've read the book, and you were aware of this story. No, I haven't used the bad breath line, but I'd love to hear from a member of our audience who would consider using this. <laughs> To clarify, it goes like this. You would ask the salesman, would you mind if I sit back a bit because your breath is very bad? Has anyone ever told you this? Then you sit back if you're seated and give the obligatory hand wave in front of your nose. (laughs) You could also use this when you're standing. Just step back to emphasize the smell and then wave your hand in front of your face. Right? Love him or hate him because there are both crowds out there. Any person of even average intelligence has to admit that Donald Trump is a master negotiator. Definitely. If he negotiated your car deal for you, it would be a smoking hot deal, and that's for sure. We're going to talk about how his techniques apply to car buying. Donald Trump's The Art of the Deal outlines several principles of negotiation and deal making that he used very successfully in his business career. And me just mentioning his name caused some of you to lose your minds. But these techniques can be summarized into a few key car buying strategies. And applying them to buying cars is a great way to see how they translate into everyday practical advice. Here's an overview of the top key points from the book and how they would apply when negotiating a car purchase. Number one is think big. The book's principle. Trump believes in aiming high and not settling for small gains. You should set high goals and this will drive you to achieve significant results. Definitely. Here's the car buying application. When purchasing a car, think bigger. Beyond just the price of the car, consider factors like extended warranties, extra maintenance packages or roadside assistance, and even about upgrades that you might negotiate and add into the deal for no additional cost. Always aim to maximize your value, not just minimize the price. Well, that last line warrants repeating. Always aim to maximize your value, just not minimize the price. Now, we get a lot of comments from people who negotiated a new set of tires and all kinds of extras on their yep. vehicle because it just took the time. So number two, protect the downside and the upside will take care of itself. The book's principle says, always cover your bases to ensure you minimize risk. The book emphasizes the importance of contingency planning. So here's the car buying application. In car negotiations, protect yourself by doing thorough research on market prices, interest rates, and trade-in values. Knowing the car's history is key, and getting it inspected if it's a used car you're buying is always important. This way, you avoid nasty surprises, and you help protect yourself from overpaying or getting a bad car deal. That's it. Number three, maximize your options. In the book, it says, always have alternatives and never depend on a single source or deal. The more options you have, the stronger your position becomes. 
So the car buying application is pretty simple. Don't ever be too attached to one particular car or one particular dealership. Check multiple dealerships and online platforms and don't hesitate to let sellers know you're considering various options. This puts pressure on them to give you the best deal to keep you from going elsewhere. It also makes them realize they have to earn your business. They aren't just going to get it because you happen to be talking to them. Number four, know your market. The book stresses understanding every detail about the deal and the market in which you operate. Knowing your market gives you an edge over your competitors. So here's the car buying application. Research is key in car buying. Knowing the market value of the car you're interested in, in any current promotions, available interest rates, and seasonal trends. Websites like Kelly Blue Book, Edmunds, and local dealership pricing will help you understand the fair price, giving you negotiating power. Number five, use leverage. I love this one. In the book, it says leverage is power in negotiation. The party with more leverage will often dictate the terms. The book advises finding creative ways to gain the upper hand. Let me say something right there. Part of your leverage is actually negotiating from home. That's right. So the car buying application is your leverage can come from many sources, cash offers, pre-approved financing, knowledge of competitor prices, or being willing to walk away. If a dealership knows you're ready to buy elsewhere, they're more likely to improve their offer to keep you in their dealership and earn your business. So number six, enhance your location. The book's principal, Trump, emphasizes making the most out of your current situation or location to attract deals and opportunities. So here's the car buying application. In a car buying scenario, use your position as a serious buyer to gain additional benefits. If you're well prepared and informed, you can project subtle confidence, making the dealer realize you're not an easy target for manipulation, thus improving your bargaining position. Number seven, get the word out. The book advocates for good publicity and attention. The more people know about your success or interest in a deal, the more leverage and influence you have. The car buying application is this. While not directly translatable, in car buying, this principle could mean using social proof and negotiation strategies to your advantage. For example, showing the dealer you've done your research, have offers from other dealerships, or know other customers who've received better deals can put pressure back on them. So number eight, the fight back principle. The book's principle says the art of the deal suggests not being afraid to push back or stand firm when negotiating terms that matter to you. We've said this so many times, you guys. Car buying application here is if a dealer tries to pressure you into a deal that offers less than favorable terms, be prepared to walk away or negotiate assertively. Don't be afraid to push back on things like fees, interest rates, or unnecessary add-ons. Make a habit of glancing at your watch or your phone to check the time. Let them know you're ready to walk if a deal you like isn't on the table very soon. Mm -hmm. Number nine, deliver the goods. In the book's principle, Trump emphasizes that you must deliver on promises and ensure the final deal is well executed. The car buying application is, after negotiating a great deal, ensure all agreed upon terms are documented and clearly understood by both parties. Double check the car contract for any hidden fees or discrepancies before signing, ensuring the dealership delivers on everything they promised. And then number 10, have fun. The book's principal, Trump, suggests that enjoying what you do is crucial to success. If you have fun with it, you'll have more energy and enthusiasm, and it will show in your end results. Mm -hmm. Car buying application here is, while car buying can be stressful, approach it with a positive mindset. If you enjoy the process, you'll likely be more patient, creative, and assertive in negotiating a deal that satisfies you. By combining these strategies from the art of the deal, you can approach car buying with a more strategic mindset, aiming to maximize your value, minimize risks, and leverage your options effectively. And of course, as Kevin said in the beginning, bring your attitude. And you know what? You don't have to like Trump to recognize some great value in that book. Now, I know a few snowflakes immediately have lost their minds when we mentioned Trump in the beginning, but that's perfectly okay with us. Hopefully, you jump to go hide in your safe spaces. <laughs> For those of you who stuck with us, I think you understand why our hassle-free car buying service is so successful and why we are the only car buying service that saves you the discomfort of going it alone with a dealer finance officer. We never want you to lose to a finance man. Never. You should know that when you use our hassle-free car buying service to buy a car, either me or Kevin will personally take every intake call. You get to talk directly to us, and we are the only show hosts that offer this level of personalized service on YouTube. We aren't hiding in a safe space somewhere. Yeah, (laughs) sure. What's also different about our car buying service compared to others is that we are truly a customer-focused service provider. We are not trying to recruit dealers to referral network like others are doing, and I think you know exactly who I'm talking about. That's right. We never want to be anything like the Costco Auto Program with a dealer referral network that always fails. 
Thanks to all of you out there in our audience for coming back. We greatly appreciate your loyalty. And if you want direct help in your next car deal, text Liz today at 701-441-3399 and we'll get you started. In closing, I just want to take a moment to talk to those of you who just want to get the most out of your current or future vehicle. You want your vehicle to last as long as possible so you don't have to buy another one. Let me tell you what, that's super cool with us. We keep our vehicles for a long time too. You can learn what's a good, reliable, new or used vehicle to buy in the first place, or you can get advice on best maintenance practices for your vehicle. To do all of that, we have an in-house automotive expert on board with us. You've seen him now on a few shows with me. He is exceptionally talented and will help you get the most out of your current or future car. His name is Alex Stevens. He's a former race team mechanic who has built a ton of different cars from the ground up. He has numerous automotive connections and knows so many great people in the mechanical field, he can get to the bottom of any problem car related. If you've been having an ongoing problem with your current vehicle, you definitely need to talk to Alex. You'll be amazed at what he knows about your car without even seeing it. To read up about Alex, just go to our website and click on the pull down menu button and find Ask the Auto Expert. Alex Stevens is available at a low introductory price, just $75, and he's beyond knowledgeable and talented. And as mentioned before, Alex has been joining Kevin to give his take on cars to avoid and why, and if you own one of those bad cars, how to care for it so it doesn't leave you stranded. If you buy the $75 call with Alex, I promise you'll be delighted to talk to him. Kevin or I will connect you with Alex. To all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, home of the only totally hassle-free car buying service. Signing off on behalf of the amazing Elizabeth and our entire hassle-free homework guy team. Thanks for listening.